yo, it's nothing left to do. You got Bud Crawford and you got Errol Spence. Let's start the shit talking right now in the comments right now. I mean, right underneath this video. Let's start. Who is going to win the fight? Are you team Bud or are you team Spence? You already know where I'm at. I'm team Bud to the death. Spence looked all right tonight. You know, he did his little thing. I saw him throwing his little punches and everything. That was He did. Nah, I got team Bud. Nah, let me play. Yo, that was an excellent fight. First off, shout out to all the supporters. All right, all the supporters, all the new supporters, all the new subscribers to the channel. Welcome. Everyone that donated to the channel. Um, hit that like button, share the video, whatever it is you did. Um, hit me on the social media. Thank you. You know, I had a good time tonight. It felt good. Um, I had family watching the videos, friends. Um, uh, thank you everybody for supporting. We getting there, you know. It's been a long road, but we getting there. Um, great fight, great car, definitely worth the pay per view. I mean, um, all the winners of tonight. Uh, Stan Jonas and uh, Butaev gave us a good fight. Uh, Cruz and Gamboas gave us an entertaining beatdown. <laughs> um, but shout out to everyone. You know, uh, it was a good fight, man. And it was a good night of cards. And I had a good time just being on live, talking boxing. That's what it's really all about for me. You know, uh, salute to Ugas who gave us a good performance, a uh, good fight. You know, he held it down. He showed the heart. He showed that he was a warrior, you know what I'm saying? But for the most part, it was a beatdown. It was. It was competitive early, but for the most part, it was a, a beatdown. And salute, and, and a big shout out to Errol Spence. That, I was telling you on, on the, uh, I was telling you on the live, that's the first time I've seen Spence fight like that in a long time. You know, it was, it's been a long time since I've seen that Errol Spence, you know, um, I, I kept remind, reminding me of the Kell Brook Errol Spence, you know, just relentless, just a really, really mean dude. Um, I haven't seen him fight like that in a long time. And um, shout out to my dad, because as soon as I got off the live, my dad gave me a call and he brought up a point and, you know, you could disagree with him, agree with him, whatever way. But he called me, he said, listen, you know, Spence did that dude dirty because he said it like this. He said he did him dirty. Because of his unsportsmanship. And he's like, what do you mean? He's like, he saw his mouthpiece fall out of his mouth. And what did he do? He jumped on the opportunity and tried to knock Spence out while his mouthpiece was in his mouth. He saw that it fell out. And that's part of the reason why Spence, he feels that is part of the reason why Spence gave him that beatdown. And now me personally, I can see where he's coming from that, like from that angle. But at the same time, you know, I knew Spence, whole game plan, like he wanted to get a stoppage based on everything he's been saying leading up to this fight. He wanted to really perform, and that's what he did. But that's what my pops called me and told me. He was like, you know, Spence really turned it up a different notch after that whole mouthpiece thing happened. And he's probably right, you know. I mean, I'm going to eventually go back to the fight and watch it and, and, and listen to the post-fight, you know, interviews and all of that stuff. But he made a good point. Let me know what you guys think about that. Um, but yo, that was a that was a good performance for Spence. And you know, his cardio is insane. It was always good, but it was just insane tonight. You know, and there was points early in the fight where you had to be a little worried because Ugas was showing a lot of strength the first two or three rounds. Counter punches was on point. Accuracy was on point. When he was keeping that distance between him and Spence, he was landing a couple big right overhand rights up top and, and, and backing Spence up. And I was saying early, man, I don't know, man. Because Spence looks, you know, Ugas looks strong. Spence took the hits, kept coming inside, kept working. And there was a point in that fight, I don't remember what, the fourth or the fifth round, somewhere around there where Spence stayed in the pocket. And Ugas knew, like, at no, at, after that, there was no point when Ugas 
separated himself from Spence. Spence started off every round closing the gap, working the body, throwing uppercuts. And Ugas, at that point, he fought Spence's fight. And that was a big no-no. You know, Ugas looked real good like when he was on the outside countering Spence, throwing those looping right hands. Looked real, real good. But once Spence got in the pocket, started working, and kept himself there, it was a wrap. It wasn't even competitive for a good a, a part of that fight. Um, of course, we had the whole mouthpiece thing. When I covered it live at first, I thought um, I didn't see the mouthpiece fly out. Uh, I thought Ugas actually hurt Spence because I see Spence go like this. And I didn't know that. I wasn't aware that the mouthpiece fell out. But once they showed the replay, I was like, oh, okay, he didn't hurt Spence. Spence is crazy. In the middle of an exchange... He's trying to walk over to pick up his mouthpiece up while Ugas is literally throwing punches at him. Kind of crazy, right? But um, good fight, man. Good performance. Good stoppage, too. I think the stop, the fight could have been stopped a round or two before that. Um, Ugas' eye was just, wasn't going to hold up, you know? Um, even the first time when the uh, doc came by and looked at it, even in that part, I was like, Ugh. You can, you can let it continue, but if Ugas doesn't get a knockdown, most likely the fight's going to be stopped. I mean, the eye was already damn near closed. You know what I'm saying? It's ironic how Ugas' eye gets busted up and Spence is the one with the bad eye. But um, look, man, I'm not going to hold you out tonight because, you know, I think the winner was clear. Obviously, the winner was a competitive fight. Um, I think what I was most impressed with with Spence is just his cardio and his work rate is just insane. He just doesn't stop. And a lot of people was asking me in the comments just now while I was live, like, yo, Wave, you think Bud is going to be able to deal with that pressure? And I'm just saying, like, there's a lot of things that Bud does that Spence or Ugas does not do, that Danny Garcia does not do, that Sean Porter does not do. And we can talk about this and we can start it up again. I mean, we've been talking about it for like the last four years or so, like three, four years. But we can restart talking about it. Like, like let's start the trash talking. Like, let, let's let's build it up because this is what we want. Um, I hope the WBA and Stan Jonas, I hope they work something out. I mean, Stan Jonas, definitely top dude in the division. You know, one of the top dudes up there. Um, and he's deserving of a, a, a world title, but... We got to take care of business first. And they got to have to find a way to make them step aside. But, you know, do what you got to do. I don't know if you got to sign the PBC, do whatever. I don't care how they handle the business part. Just make the fight. Hopefully they come to some sort of terms. Everything works out. And we can get this fight that we all been asking for, right? Um, but, yeah, man, let's start that trash talking, man. Because it's real now. You know, the call out was real tonight. No matter all that stuff that happened, it it, it, it matters. It's, it is a factor. We're not going to forget it. But right now, today is a new day. You know, Bud is coming off his win against Sean Porter, his stoppage win. And Spence is coming off his stoppage win against Ugas. There's nothing left to be done. All right? I can't wait to see the fight. Um, you know, it goes ready back to the, the very beginning of my talks about this fight. Said back in the day, I don't think anybody beats Bud. But Spence, and I don't think anybody beats Spence, but but Bud. You know, people talking about Boots and all of these other guys, and that's cool. They'll get their time at some point, but it's right right now. It's about those two. All right. Um. Again. Um. Salute to everybody that was here in the chat tonight. I had a good time, and um. You know, hopefully I could just keep bringing you guys great content and great commentary for the fight. Uh, I think I don't think people realize how much work that really takes to just be talking for five and a half hours straight just talking and talking talking answering questions on the spot you know um just covering fights back to back to back to back um it, it's, it takes a lot of work effort you know i work in between these things and do a lot of stuff with family you know i'm taking care of people it's a lot of work put a lot of time put a lot of time in studying these videos you know, I don't slack when it comes to that, doing these breakdowns. 
Um, salute to everyone that got the predictions right too. My prediction was off. I picked Spence for sure, but didn't think Spence was gonna get the stoppage though. You know, just didn't think he was gonna do it. Um, you know, I, I thought about it. Nah, I picked Ugas. I mean, I picked, I picked Spence, but a decision. You know, uh, shout out to everyone that predicted. I know my my bro uh, contender regime. I, I shout shout out to him and follow his channel. He predicted um, a stoppage for Spence, but he always go pick Spence. <laughs> nah, shout out to my man, man. I want to do content with him too. I, I want to holler at him though. He's he's a good channel, man. So shout out to Contender uh, Regime. Hopefully he checks this out. Um, if he doesn't, go make sure you guys hit him up. Let him know. Um, I shout him out, man. He big Spence fan. I'm a big Bud fan. I'm a Spence fan too, but he is Spence fans. I'm rolling with Bud. He rolling with Spence. But anyway, um. Listen, we all had a great time, man. Again, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Um, these press conferences just started. Um, but I'll I'll be back and do more videos on this, man. And then get right back into the uh, Tyson Fury, Dillian White stuff. Because that's what we got this week. That's what's up this week. All right. So anyway, I'm out of here. Peace. Let me know um, what you think on the fight. Who did you predict? Did you get it right? Did you get it wrong? Who was going to win this fight between Bud and... Uh, Spence, I'm gonna do a poll, so be on the lookout. Probably do a poll tomorrow because I want to get this, I want to get this cracking. All right. Anyway, I'm out of here. Peace.